What's going on, YouTube? Coach Little Joe back again for another card talk. So just to recap, last week I was discussing um, kind of like what I consider the best approach uh, when you're in between cycles. So I went over, you know, the different approaches, which would be TRT, PCT, and cruise. Now, kind of to read, like, I want to touch on this a bit further because, you know, I always, <laughs> there's always somebody who, you know, wants to comment and, you know, be that, uh, be that person to be the keyboard, keyboard warrior, um, to try and point out and nitpick one little thing you say that they can, you know, be like, that's wrong. Um, so I want to touch on that because someone commented last week and they're like, talking about the one thing the one thing I said about receptors and how that it's resetting to reset your receptors from you know a blast right and coming off completely is a better reset and they were coming out with the argument that apparently there was I, I guess a study done that says that that doesn't um, that's not a thing apparently like to reset your receptors but that wasn't my point about the whole thing. Like, and if anybody's watched my videos, especially the ones where I'm talking about PEDs, you know, my whole point is what's the healthiest approach where you can still get great results and restore health and maintain overall health, right? My, my point of this is not to be like, oh, like receptors, blah, 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 blah. It's like, yeah, that's still like a factor. It's like if your receptors are like, if you're blasting all the time, like you're not going to get the same response. Um, but their point was, oh, like, it doesn't make a difference, like, your androgen receptors are going to be the same, and it's like, cool, that might be true to a sense, but you cannot convince me that that's healthier than coming off and doing TRT to properly reset, because I'm talking about more of a reset in regards to your health markers, right? Like, liver enzymes, kidneys, heart health, cholesterol, all that stuff, you know, even like blood pressure, things like that, that's really important to make sure that you're keeping in check when you're on and in between cycles trying to reset that. So whether you're receptors or not, I would still give the argument that I still think it does impact that because you can't tell me that it has zero impact. I think it still has an impact because if it didn't, then people just always stay on shit and always see results, right? Because you're going to get to a certain point where there's a certain threshold no matter what when it comes to results. And if you take a break from taking certain compounds, you know, even if you lose a bit, you're going to see a better response from taking a break. And you can't tell me that you don't because you do. But if you're talking about you don't need to fully completely come off, sure, I'll give you that. That's fine. But again, not my point, but one of like the many things <laughs> that I mentioned and the one little thing someone wanted to point out. So just wanted to touch on that um, because again, what I'm trying to focus on is, you know, giving people insight into like what I've done personally and insight into what I know works well for works well for me has worked well for my clients and all these other ways to approach it and minimize the amount of products that you're using and use it in a way that you're going to see great results and still be healthy at the same time you know what I mean because a lot of these people you know that are they'll preach things about cruising and things like that it's like okay you know none of these people that are doing this have done this for over a decade straight and have any type of legitimate proof in that sense that it's like, okay, you know, 20 years down the road, how healthy are you going to be doing that, right? And that's what I'm focused on is like, I want people that I'm working with personally as clients and the people that I'm, you know, that are watching these videos to understand that like, you know, what you're doing now, you got to think long term. It's like, if you're in your 20s, you're in your 30s, you know, you're doing your cycles, whatever, competing, all this shit. Um, great. You know, it's, it's amazing. I love bodybuilding. I'm not saying, you know, don't do this, don't do that. What I'm trying to do is give you that advice that I wish I had when I was starting out. You know what I mean? When I was 20 years old, you know, going back like 12 years now, um, there wasn't really this type of information out there where people are talking openly about this and like giving that advice, being like, yeah, go check your blood work. Make sure these levels are in good ranges, blah, 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 blah. You know, when you're on cycle, check, make sure, you know, see where your estrogen levels are at. See if you need to add in any type of, you know, aromatized inhibitor. See if your progesterone levels are high. See if this is like, you know, and just checking and making sure things are in a good zone and making sure you're taking proper health supplements. You know, so much of this information was not there when I came into the, the bodybuilding world. And that's what I'm trying to do now that I'm, you know, further into my career as a bodybuilder, I am more focused on trying to help others, trying to guide others towards like getting that end result that they want. But 
maintaining their health in the process because I think about it now at 32 I'm like okay you know I'm only going to compete so much longer and I'm only going to want to be this size so much longer you know so it's like I want to make sure that I'm doing the healthiest approach possible so that you know 20 years down the road I'm still healthy I can still be active I can still train I can still do those things I love but it's like I'm not going to be 280 290 pounds doing it probably be more like you know 230 250 240 whatever something like that you know and um just like to be able to have that like mindset of like okay what's the least i can do in regards to peds and get the most out of it and like the healthiest approach to it not the quote-unquote optimal approach or whatever like people want to call it because it's like yeah like of course if you're still taking you know androgens in between cycles and still taking staying on a little bit then for sure you're gonna see better quote-unquote results you know, in the visual aspect or in the, like, in the aspect of like the, what you're maintaining between, but in the aspect of your actual overall health, there's no way you can convince me that that's healthier for you. You know what I mean? And that's the whole thing I'm preaching here is health, not optimal in regards to like, what's going to keep you the most jacked all the time, but like, what's the healthiest approach? Because if your nutrition is on point and your training is on point and your recovery is on point, then you should be able to sustain quite a bit of tissue between cycles just doing TRT. You shouldn't need to stay on a cruise. Now, mind you, I'm also going to touch on there's people who will like stay on like a cruise year round in the sense of like saying like 200 milligrams of test and like 100 milligrams of Primo or Masteron. Now that I don't have an issue with, especially someone who's going to be on point with their nutrition, doing cardio training, you know, doing that. I don't think is that is a bad thing. It's when you're doing a blast and then a cruise. I don't think that's a good approach because I feel like health wise, you know, sure. You do that for a few years might not be so bad. You do that for a decade or longer. <laughs> let me know. Let me know how things go. You know what I mean? Like I don't encourage that at all. And I feel like people that are encouraging that is not a good thing because like I said, who's done that and you know, 15, 20 years from now is still healthy. You know, we've seen a lot of stuff happen in the bodybuilding world in the past few years with people with deaths and, you know, things like that. And it's like, people can say like, oh, it's, you know, it's not this, it's not that, or it's, you know, it's to do with like, you know, this virus or it's to do with blah, blah, blah. Like, it's like, okay, but you know, there could be underlying, you know, family health history with those individuals, but it also could be because of, you know, abuse with certain things that they're using, right? And like, that's why, that's one of the motivations behind what I'm doing here is to like, help educate people as best I can in a very simplistic way, so that it translates to them very, you know, very easily, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to like, say all these big fancy, you know, words and talk about like the anatomy and blah, 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 because no one gives a shit really to hear that you know like i don't care to hear like a bunch of big words because it doesn't make a difference in regards to like you know how elaborate you make it sound what really matters is that people understand that at the end of the day you know no amount of muscle mass is worth sacrificing you know 20 years off your life and it's like obviously if you're a 20 year old kid you're probably thinking i don't care i want to get huge well get huge and stay healthy right grow a bit bigger but stay healthy you know what i mean like there's a way to go about it and that's what i preach with my clients too like all my clients it's like always making sure to take health supplements always checking their blood work on a regular basis making sure that they're restoring that health 100 percent between cycles before they go back on making sure that everything is functioning the way it should be and that their health is in check because i want all of my clients and everybody that i can you know help in this industry to be healthy long term. I want people to have that lifestyle and be able to sustain a healthy lifestyle long term. It's not just about building muscle, man. It's about like, you know, changing your life for the better and understanding that like it's more than just about being jacked. You know what I mean? Like bodybuilding is such a great lifestyle and such a great way to like, you know, stay healthy, stay active, you know, and work out and feel great about yourself, love the way you look, love the way you feel. And you don't have to be so obsessed with like more, more, more all the time, because when it comes to you wanting to build more muscle, it doesn't always equate to, I need to use more drugs all the time. You know what I mean? And I feel like that's uh, something that gets kind of lost in translation with some people is they think, ah, oh, like I have to take more to see more results. I got to add more in. I got to take more compounds. I got to do this. I got to do that. 
No, you don't. You just have to like <laughs> be patient and actually put in the consistent work. When you do that, you see crazy results. And a lot of people just aren't patient enough to see those results. And that's when they end up abusing, abusing, abusing. And that abuse turns into health problems. You know what I mean? It's like, maybe not right away, but it's just like every time you're like, I would say like, you know, blasting, cruising, blasting, cruising. If you're using that approach, it's like leaving a little scar. You know what I mean? Like when you have a little scar and then it turns a little bigger, a little bigger, a little bigger, a little bigger. The next thing you know, you're just like, man, like my, uh, my creatinine levels are always just staying really high. Oh, but, um, you know, I'm bigger, so it's okay. But it's just like, Hmm, did you look deeper into that? Did you do a cystatin C test? Did you check the, if there's like protein in your urine? Are you going more deep into that? You know, it's like, how's your liver enzymes? Did they fully restore to normal range? You know, how's your cholesterol levels? Are they full? Is that fully restoring to normal ranges? You know what I mean? Like, is that really happening? Are you restoring your health properly? Are you keeping yourself healthy? That's what really matters because when your body's healthy, it's going to respond better. So just blasting all the time or just blasting and cruising is not the best approach for health. Okay. So at the end of the day, you can do whatever the you want to do, but I would always say on the side of caution and do what's going to be best long term for you because being a little bit more muscular off cycle, a little bit fuller, a little bit stronger in the gym is not worth taking years off your life just to do that. And if it is for you, then that's up to you. But that's not what I'm preaching here. And don't get it twisted. All right. Just wanted to reiterate on that this week. Uh, next week, I'm going to discuss the third portion of when I was talking about different cycles from beginner and immediate advanced and talk about the approach for like someone who's like kind of like pursuing that pro card and you know the pro level of, of bodybuilding and like what the cycle approach could look like going into a contest prep for them so i'm going to touch on that next week um next week's video this week i just wanted to reiterate on this because i felt like it was something i should touch on so people understand where my head's at with what i'm doing here all right if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up and feel feel free to leave a comment of something you'd like to see me talk about next and of course, if you haven't had the chance to subscribe yet, make sure you hit that red button and subscribe now. Take care.